Hi, uh, today this is a Mad Irish Lunatic and today I'm going to walk you through uh, the straw, what the straw is, how to um, make it a tool for your loom, and, and why you would want to use a straw. So I'm using a standard drinking straw that I got a box of from Smart and Final. You can get them anywhere. Uh, really, I do not recommend using a clear straw because you want it to be visible on your yarn. So I'm just going to unwrap my straw. I like these red ones because they're a good size for all of the looms. If they're too big around, you can't use them on the smaller looms like the blue or the, the pink loom right here. So I cut my straw about two to three inches long. I try to cut it straight. Sometimes it's slightly at an angle and then I trim it. It doesn't matter if you trim it or not. I'm a type A. <laughs> so then what you do with the straw is you take a small crochet hook, you insert it into the straw, then you take your yarn and loop it over the hook of the crochet hook and then pull the yarn through the straw that way. Like this. Okay. That's what I call loading the straw. Then you're going to make a slip knot. Just like that. Then I'm going to start wrapping the loom using the straw. Pardon me while I get this up here. And I just use the straw to guide the yarn around the pegs instead of my fingers. It creates great tension. It's not too tight. It's not as exhausting using the straw as it is your fingers. Especially for people like me with arthritis. It makes it faster too. Then, just as always, you just knit the bottom over the top, all the way around. And then when you're ready to do the next row, you just pick up the straw. I only did part of a row, so I um, don't think I finished it. You just pick up the straw. You want to bring it up close to the peg. Uh, keep the straw close to the peg because if you pull it out this way first, then you lose kind of control. So you really want to use the straw to guide it around each peg, keeping it as close as possible. As if you tried to do it out here, you can see what happens. So just keep it, keep it close without keeping it tight. As I like to say, pretend like you're in a fancy tea party. Just keep your hands out like that and then wrap the straw around. It's really great and it, it really speeds up the knitting. Um, not that you're in a hurry or it's a race. And another thing I want to show you is on my uh, loom tool, I have this rubber grippy thing. And these are from Big Lots. They're uh, from Bic brand. They're pencil grips, pen and pencil grips. And I just roll them on to the tool and it creates um, a nice grip. It's softer on your hands and for people with arthritis you really want your hands to be uh, as far apart on the tools. The bigger the ergonomic tool is the better. So give that a try. So that's all there is to the straws and like I said it's just standard straw. Nothing magical and I usually have several cut. Um, I don't recommend that you cutting it short because then you're really trying to maneuver a tiny amount and it really it's exhausting in your hands right here so you really want the straw to be long enough like this one is. So 
so you're not having to work right on up on top of it like that to make your straw nice and big. Okay, if you have any questions, you can find me at http colon slash slash hearts in hands h e a r t s n h a n d s dot webs dot com. Mad Irish Limited. Have a great 2011.